Hi everybody, Robert here again, and we're going to look at some more structural training here. So in this exercise, we're going to create a float floor slab, and we're going to create openings in the shaft. So let's begin. So we want to start out here on our second level, which we are. This is the second level over here in the project browser. Let's just go on this in a little bit. Okay, now um, we want to focus in this area right here between B and G and B1 and G4. Okay, so now the first thing we want to do is we want to, uh, on the structure tab, we want to go and add a structural floor. So we select structural floor. Now, once we do that, we want to uh, go into the properties tab here and we want to select duplicate. So we'll duplicate this and let's say, let's call this uh, 12 inch concrete. And let's say OK. Now we'll go and look at our preview by selecting this tab. So now once we have that done, we want to go and select edit here. Now under edit, we'll see here in the middle on the, stru in the structure uh, row and hit this column here with a, with a category. So we'll select that, hit the little builder block. And then up we'll here is our material material editor. So there it is. So here we want to just use uh, cast and place concrete as our material. And we'll say OK. And then we'll say OK here. We want that one foot. And then we'll uh, select OK to get out of that. And OK again. So now, from this point, all we want to do is we want to pick the line tool from the draw panel. And then we want to make sure we have chain selected. And then we'll go in and just draw these lines here. So let's start up here at our B1. Let's pick an intersection right at this point here. We'll bring this line down. Intersection here. And we'll come down to this point, displacing lines here. And we'll come to four and we'll come across. And let's come right here. Okay, we'll come up to this point right here. No, I think we want to bring this over. Yeah, we'll come up to this point here. And then we'll stop this right here. I want to show you a new command. So once we get to that point, we can go and use our pick walls tool, and we'll just pick this wall, this wall, and that one. So now we want to just clean these walls up with the trim tool. Okay, now. Let's change the view uh, detail level to medium.
Okay, now you can see our beams are showing now. So now, um, okay. Now let's go and try to pick lines too in our draw panel. And we want to offset, we want to do a three inch offset here. So let's just say three inches right here. And now we want to do, we want to pick some lines right here. And I would say let's just place it right along E. So let's pick these lines right along here. Uh, yeah, that's a good spot. Let's pick this wall, this wall, this beam, this one. And this one, let's clean this up here. Remember, always select the lines you want to keep in there. So we have our floor done. Now let's go back and look at our Let's place the slope arrow. So let's take this, take this slope arrow command here. And let's place a line. Let's say put it from about. Let's go with it about right here. This is a good spot for it, I think. Yes. No, let's put it. Okay, we'll just put it anywhere. It doesn't matter, but you'll know generally when you're working on this where it should go exactly. But I'm going to place it right about here. Put it right there, I guess. We'll draw a line from here to one to here to this point. It's right about there. Now, while we still have that in our properties uh, dialog box, we want to specify the tail, and we want to pull this down, and we want to specify it as a slope. And then... Uh, Height of tail, we'll say minus two, minus two feet, two inches. And just click space where it knows that that's two inches. And the slope, we'll make it just two percent, two two degrees. I don't know, that's roughly a quarter of an inch, I guess. Okay. Now, we want to select, move back up here. We're still in this temporary mode. We want to hit the span direction now. And we'll select... This right here is our span direction. And now let's check our green check mark. And we'll have our floor. Hopefully it all goes well. Okay. Now we'll get this message and it'll say, no span direction symbol found is located in the project. Would you like to load one now? Let's say yes. Here. So now what we'll do, we'll go into our browser and we'll go into annotations. I think it's in here. Uh, structural. And we 
we should go down and find a span. What's that? It should be. I think it's yeah. The span direction symbol. So we'll go down. Okay, there it is. Expand direction symbol and hit open. And rivet should bring it in there. And then you once you have that finish, you we really want to select what you like walls that go up to this floor level attached to its bottom. Let's say yes. Okay, now we're getting this message here, and it says highlighter walls. Um, Highlighted walls are attached to mint to highlighted walls are attached to but miss the highlighted target areas. This is a warning that you can't ignore, so let's just ignore this and say okay. Okay, now we have that done. So let's go and activate our annotate tab here. Let's select detail line and we'll just go here and place this opening symbol X for opening. Okay, there and oh. Sorry, I got out of the command. I didn't want to still want that there to there. And that's it, folks. That's how you do an opening in a um, in a floor slab. So let's have a look at this in 3D. Let's hide this roof temporarily so we can see here. It was temporary high uh, element. And so there's our our opening that we just created, and it's also sloped. So let's go back to the home view here, and we're going to bring this back. I'm going to reset it. So now let's look at one other thing while we're in here. Let's activate our second floor once again. And there's our floor and our opening and everything. So now what we want to do, let's zoom into this bay. Okay, let's zoom into this bay right here. Now, We want to go and look into our structural tab again, and this time we want to um, open a shaft. So then, once we do that, let's go to the rectangular command tool, and let's just now. This is pretty simple. You're in the rectangle tool, so let's make a shaft. Say from. Let's go with about here to here. Now the good thing about this, let's make this opening six by six by eight feet. So we can just select any point here. And it's eight feet. Okay, it's eight. Let's move it over a little bit there. Now, while we have that, as we go to our properties, dialog box here and the base constraint is going to be the second floor our top constraint is slivers labels unconnected but we're going to take this up to the roof okay 
Now we'll do our symbolic line once again. And we'll just uh, disable our chain. That's what happened last time. We'll disable chain and we'll just do an X from here to there, from there to there. And let's click our green check mark. Okay. I'm going to go back here. I want to do that. I missed something there. If I can. Okay. I'm sorry. We made a mistake here. So here, our base offset should have been one foot to clear the slab, I think. One foot. Our top constraint is up to level roof. And that's showing the height there. Now let me try that again. There we go. And I want to undo it back one more time just so I we can get our our boundary lines in here so I need to just tab around here select this opening okay so that's this is our shaft opening so my top uh, top offset here should be one my base offset should be minus two. I'm sorry, this is the root right here. This should be minus two. The top offset will be one. Let's click apply. Now let's finish this. There we go. There's our shaft opening. So anyway, folks, that's how you do a shaft opening, a floor with openings. Let's look at this in 3D. And there you go. So hey, folks, thank you for watching this video. Um, we covered floors, openings. And we can move on to the next topic. Uh, I'm going to tell you I got this from uh, this file here this is a quickly created file to perform the elite small uh, structural training book uh, if you need the file I can email it to you for practice or you can create your own thanks again for watching and see you next time hey and by the way if you like this video please select like uh, and if you can subscribe and click on my notifications you can get these videos whenever I make them thanks again and goodbye